like dealing with those teams because if they set up and they put on pass to that one Pokemon, you're screwed. It's either that or he's going to take out at least four or three Pokemon on your team and then there's no way you can bring him back without a miracle of your own setting up. So, yeah, that usually happens, but I just went ahead and went with the battle. Toys was... Uh, courteous enough to not use Baton Pass, which thank you again, Toys. I really, I really appreciate that because you know how I am with those. So, anyways, let's get straight into this battle. Now, at the beginning of the battle, I didn't really predict anything. I just went straight on to my Latios here, and he switches or goes into his Garchomp. Now, again, two Dragon Pokemon. They're both super effective against both of each other, and I thought he was maybe Scarf Chomp, so I switched out. I was scared and went into my Mandibuzz, but he predicts this because Garchomp outspeeds Latios either way and goes into his Zapdos. Now, this Zapdos right here is a special defensive bulky one, so that's probably why he did switch in i was thinking maybe he predicted me to switch out man but he also could have switched into it because he was predicting a uh, dracu meteor and he was easily going to tank that up so i switch out right there because mandibuzz can't do anything and switch into my netric predicting him to go for a thunderbolt which he does i get a special attack boost and go mega right here now it doesn't really matter if i'm if I go protect with the main Netric at the beginning because I will outspeed no matter what. It's a main Netric against Zapdos. You could you could do the base stat thing. And I went straight for a hidden power and I'm thinking here, this is gonna do so much and it doesn't, which was pretty surprising but again this is a special defensive bulky Zapdos now he went for a toxic right here a very smart play on his part because he could just eat these attacks for days and stall me out sooner or later unless I got a crit which is like a low low chance I usually never get that I'm just unlucky with critical hits when I actually need them now he switches out into real steel here predicting me to go for another another um hidden power ice but i do not i go straight for the thunderbolt hoping to do a little more damage on the zapdos but it does not and it, he switches into metagross and almost kills it now real still is going to go out now because he's going to die he can't do anything now he predicted me to go for a hidden power ice because if you want to switch into maybe uh garchomp and then i went for thunderbolt and wasn't going to resist but he over or he out predicted me there, switched into his Chandelure and ate up that hidden power ice. Now I switch out my main Netric here because I'm like, no, I can't take out the Chandelure for crap. I'm gonna die. This thing's totally scarfed. I'm not gonna be able to speed. So I switch into my Sylveon, knowing that I'll easily tank a Shadow Ball from this thing. Cause this is a special defensive bulky uh Sylveon with Wish, Hyper Voice, Calm Mind, and Protect. Now I get some health back from the leftovers, of course. He goes for another Shadow Ball. And again, I'm going to eat this up because I am a special defensive Sylveon. I go for a Calm Mind, knowing that I'll be able to set up a few Calm Minds here. Just because I'll be able to live at least four attacks at most. If he gets low rolls. And I get some leftover health back, of course. And now he goes for a Shadow Ball once again. At this point, it's more, more so just a stall war. I'm trying to set up on him so I know I'll be able to maybe sweep his team, which doesn't really happen in the end. He switches out of his Chandelure, if I'm not mistaken, and then that's what happens from there. Now, I get a Wish Up, gain some leftover health back as well, and he switches out into his... Um, Scarlet right here, also known as a Scallopede. Now, Scallopede is a very, very scary Pokemon. Once again, it's a Baton Pass spawn, or potentially going to be one, but he didn't use Baton Pass in the spell, which he was courteous enough to do that once again. Thank you, Toys. I went for another Calm Mind, though, getting more special defense and more special attack, but it does not matter at this point because this Scarlet right here does have Poison Jab, and I don't really want to deal with that. I can't even do anything to him with a Hyper Force, even though I think I was plus three there. It's not going to make a difference. So I switch into my Talon Flame here, hoping he would go for maybe a Sword Dance, which he does, or a Protect, potentially. Uh, so I would be able to get a free switch in. Now, he gets a speed boost as well with that Sword Dance, which is very scary, but I do scare him out with my Talonflame because Talonflame does get priority Brave Bird, which is great. And he switches into his Doritos, of course, predicting the Brave Bird. Very obvious play. Why wouldn't I go for it? I need to take out that Scarlet very fast. Now, Brave Bird does come out once again, and... 
take out at least a clean 25%. Doesn't kill the Doritos though, which kind of sucks. But right here, I lose some health from the recoil and also the leftovers and he gets some leftover health back. Now I know this isn't going to kill the Doritos at all. So I just went for a safe play, went for the U-turn. So I would get a little more damage off or even if he switched, I would be able to... Um, uh, get my Pokemon out there and not lose my Talon Flame right there and then. Now he does predict me to go for a U-turn. It's kind of a predictable play not for me not to go for another Brave Bird because I was gonna die if I did try for that again. And he switches into Chandelure, tanking that U-turn up. I switch out into my Conk Elder now, knowing that I'll be able to tank a shot from this uh, fire blasting Chandelure here, which I do once again, and go for the knockoff, taking out his Minda. Now, I got a crit there just to rub it in his face. The crit did not matter at all. Conkelder is a very strong Pokemon. is capable of taking out Chandelure with one knockoff. Now, he switches in his Pokey here. And right here, it was kind of a weird play on his part. If I was Guts, he definitely would have regretted this play. He, pro he did actually think I was Guts, which I wasn't. Uh, I am Iron Fist. I was going to change that before the battle, but I forgot to, and this burn did cripple my Conk Elder 100%. Only if it was Guts, guys. I would have been able to do a lot of damage to his team. But right here, he switches out, scared of the knockoff that he thought was also going to be Guts boosted, but it was not. Knockoff does come out onto the Scarlet, though, and does zero damage. That was a crit, guys. That was a crit right there from a Conk Elder. A knockoff on a Conk Elder only doing that much because of the burn. Now I take some burn damage of course he goes for another swords dance now at this point I'm really scared of this um scolipede I just go for the ice punch just to get a little more damage off the knockoff did do more I probably should have won for that again but I thought like, I always think I don't know why ice is always going to be more effective against bug I don't understand my logic in that because it's not but just thinking about it kind of makes sense to me now he also gets another speed boost there now he's plus two speed and plus two attack which is very scary right here I predicted him to switch out which he does not this roost is not even going to help me live the town flame is easily going to die from this poison jab right here and now if I'm not mistaken I lost three Pokemon at this point which is not good or at least Two, I think. Now he gets another speed boost, making him plus three and plus two attack. And Magnetric does come out at this point. I probably should have switched into Magnetric a little sooner because maybe, just maybe, he would have been able to outspeed this Scallopede, but he does not. The Intimidate doesn't even help me here. Magnetric is a very frail Pokemon, and he dies from this poison jab right here. Now, he gets one more speed boost, making him plus four. At this point, he outspeeds my whole team. I can't outspeed him whatsoever. So, I just go into my Mandibuzz. I probably should have done this a little, little, like, way sooner. Because I didn't know if he was going to live a poison jab. Just because Scallopede is very strong. That um, Intimidate did matter, though. And thanks to me switching out to my main magic first. And then into my Mandibuzz, I was able to take out the Scallopede with a foul play. And I even get some more leftover health back. So, we could tank a little more shots from some more Pokemon. Now he switches into his real steel finally, bringing him back out after that brutal thunder attack onto it, or thunderbolt attack onto it. He goes mega right here. He probably should have done that a little more sooner. I think he didn't really have a chance because he switched straight into Metagross onto that thunderbolt. But now he is able to ghost for an ice punch onto my Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz easily tanks that up. Mandibuzz is so good. Just tanking any physical attack in its way. Now I go for a foul play, taking out the real steel finally. Now, at this point, I'm like, I could maybe win this. I took out his Scallopede. I took out the real steel. Two th main threats to his team. He switches into Jessica now. Now, Jessica, I didn't know if I was going to live a Dragon Claw or not. So I just stayed in, hoping that I would live and maybe get a Roost off and take him out with a few foul plays. But that's, that does not happen. Mandibuzz does go down. Jessica takes some damage from the Life Orb. That's probably why I did not live the Dragon Claw right there, and I switch into my Sylveon. Now, I knew this thing probably did have Poison Jab, because that is very common on Gar or Garchomp now, so I was I knew I was going to live one, and went straight for the Hyper Voice, taking out the Jessica. Now, at this point, I think he only has his Doritos and also his Slowbro, so his battle's looking pretty good at this point for me. I get some leftover health back, which does it or it does matter because I'll be able to live at least one more Thunderbolt from this Dorito so I could heal next turn. 
Now, pressure comes out, doesn't really affect anything in this little stall war right here. Roost does come out onto the Doritos. He was kind of scared of me just going straight for the Hyper Voice, which I did go for right here. Probably not a smart play on my part. I wanted to quick KO on the Doritos, so maybe I would be able to not deal with it and actually go through a stall war, which is happening right now. We both get some leftover health back, though, making us able to tank a few more shots. He goes for another Thunderbolt, hoping to get a crit, because this is definitely not going to kill the Sylveon. I live with 2 HP. I don't know if that was a low roll or a high roll, but if it was a low roll, well, that's just unlucky. Because I did go for a wish right here, so I'd be able to live a lot more Thunderbolts in the next turn. I also get some leftover health back, again, helping me tank a few more shots. And I go for Protect on this turn. Now, if I didn't go for Protect, I would have lost my Sylveon here, as you probably already told, because he does outspeed me, and I don't have enough health to actually tank another Thunderbolt. Now, he gets some more leftover again. At this point, I, I told you guys, this is going to be a stall war. It goes back and forth for a while. If I'm not mistaken, he does finally go Toxic this turn right here, which does speed up the process of the stall war, but it's still a pretty slow-going thing. If I didn't do this right here, I probably would have lost against him because uh, if I'm not mistaken my Latios can't really do anything to his Doritos unless I set up a few combines but it doesn't really matter so Sylveon gets some special attack boost and defense boost finally or special defense I don't know if I said that he finally gets some special attack special defense boost which is good because I'll be able to live even more Thunderbolts and this toxic won't really affect me because of that now, the Toxic does take a little bit chip damage. He goes for a Roost right here, probably predicting me to go for a Hyper Voice, which I do not do. I go straight for a Wish, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I go for a Wish, because I knew if I went for a Wish right here, I would be able to go ahead and live, like, three Thunderbolt and, like, two Toxic things, because I am able to set up a Calm Mind this turn without needing to go for a Protect to actually make sure I actually live, and I'll get some more, um damage off on him now he goes for a thunderbolt right here combine does come out like i said i was able to go for a combine because i went for a wish the other turn i get some more special attack and special defense which is great for me and the wish finally heals me and i also get some leftover health back making me almost that whole full hp again but again that toxic is on me so it's gonna will me down sooner or later now he goes for a thunderbolt here I, again guys stall war this is going to be very annoying watching this i'm sorry about this but that's what happened at mostly at the end of the bell at this point right here i start actually like nah we're not we're not waiting anymore this is going into a video i'm definitely just going to start attacking i don't want to bore you guys to death so i went for a hyper voice right there leftovers does come out and then also toxic whittling my health down once again he goes for a roost trying to stall me out with the toxic which doesn't really happen because roost isn't going to do enough i'm going to keep doing more and more damage with this hyper voice a little by little at least five or three percent more so he gets some leftover health back and at this point if he goes for a roost he's going to be dead and if he doesn't go for the thunderbolt i'm not going to die from this toxic right here um next turn now, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the fifth turn or fourth turn with Toxic, so it's going to be doing a lot of damage again. Thunderbolt does come out one more time. Hyper Voice takes out the Doritos finally. The Star Wars over the suffering of watching this. If you guys really want to skip through this part, I understand. He's finally dead, which is good. We don't have to watch this, but I do lose my Sylveon here from the Toxic as well. So it was kind of a trade thing. I don't know if I... Maybe should have switched into my Latios a little sooner so this wouldn't have happened, but I don't think it mattered in the end. Now, Pokey does come out right here, and I bring out my Latios finally. Now, I knew Latios, if he set up one combine, combined, combined, there we go, guys. He was going to be able to live at least one Ice Beam, which he does right here. I guess special defense and special attack boost, which is good. Ice Beam comes out again. I easily tank this very good on Latios's part, and Toys forfeits here because he can't do anything. He's gonna lose because of the Draco Meteor, or even the double Draco Meteor. He won't be able to outspeed me next turn, so that's pretty much what happened, guys. I hope you enjoyed this 
Wi-Fi battle again on my channel. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to me, I would really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing these more daily now because Wi-Fi battles is kind of a thing I like commentating. It's really fun. Uh, I get to, oh, sorry about that, guys. I get to interact with you guys more in the comments because you guys could, like, maybe challenge me into a battle. You guys can tell me what I can do better with my commentary. And you can also uh, give me some tips and stuff on battling, and I can give you tips as well. So, anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with coming in, man.